Hi everyone, this video will introduce you to Tomar's registration software made by uh, Masin Sabondo in order to perform a surface registration of two profiles and 3D image registration using Fidition markers. So this software is based on open source libraries, ITK and VTK. They are freely available software system for uh, 3D computer graphics. I use them for image processing, segmentation, and of course registrations. So this software is supporting a wide variety of algorithms, but I will not go through all of them. So we'll focus on those we need for uh, surface and fidition markers for this video. So before starting, this software is specially developed for those who have no relevant experience on registration or any kind of uh, image processing. So it will be easy for them to use it without any problem. Uh, basically, registration is a process of determining the special transformation that maps point from source image to points in target image. It's just an optimization problem with the goal of finding the final transformation matrix that will bring the source image into alignment to the target image. So there is two parts in this video. I will comment on the first part. Uh, for the first part, I will perform a mutual information registration for PET and CT image. And the second part, I will uh, show you without comment how to how to do a surface tomography registration for a performatric image and uh, PET images. So this is the main menu. So you have three windows. So the first window is used to set the uh, source image, the second the target, and the result will be shown here. So the first step is to select your type of registration. You have surface surface, surface tomography, and Fidition markers. Let's start with Fidition markers. So I will let you know that this software can support three image format: object file for performatric image, and raw file for CT MRI image, and DICOM series for PET images. So we go to settings. The surface is a PET generated from DICOM series. The second is a CD from raw file. So okay. We load the source. So as you can see, we have three uh, our image and three fidition markers. We load the target. So I have managed to program a box widget by pressing B on the render window. So you can use this box widget to surrender the uh, fiducial markers to fix the, the boundaries of uh, your fiducial markers and extract the uh, volume in the century. We use the century to, to perform our uh, first step, which is uh, alignment of the two images. So as you can see here, I pressed B. So I can use the handle on each surface to change the dimension and move through the image. Have to make sure that the, your box widget is inside the outlines or it will generate an error during the process of registrations. So this is landmark number one. We repeat the same process in the second image.
When you're done, you have to press V on uh, the render window of each image to extract the volumes and uh, calculate the centuries. So the last box widget. And we're done so we press V and the win a window will appear with the extracted volumes and the position of the centroid on the space <coughs> the shine marker 1 2 and 3 we repeat the same process for the target image press V again Now we have solution marker one, two, and three. Now we can perform the registrations <coughs> by selecting settings because we want to perform only with position markers without any algorithms, and we press apply. So this is the result, it seems correct at the first view, but if you zoom in, you will see some misalignment on the vertebral column, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, just, there you go. As you can see, the CD image, there is some differences here, so we need another algorithm to find on the results. So I suggest you to use the mutual information algorithm based on voxel intensities. So we go to settings, settings. We have quadratic error and mutual information. We want mutual information and set the number of iteration, let's say 10. You should go through to 100, but for this case, there are a lot of similarity between the uh, two, in both in both images. So you can choose it. You can go less than 100. This is take a while because the program was built on debug mode. So, it takes, uh, this is the reason why it takes uh, too much time. So this is the result, corrected result using mutual information algorithms, which is really good. And I suggest to use this algorithm when you're dealing with uh, different modality images. So this is my final result of uh, for PET CT registration. I hope you enjoy. So as I said, I will not comment in the second part. And uh, hope you like it. Thank you.